That belongs in a museum. When you have an easy answer. Yep, absolutely. And I can, I've watched a lot of Trump in my time, and I can see his greedy little eyes lighting up right now. There's a minion on the board. Trump wants to kill it. That is nah, his nah, instinct. That, that, that is not a good instinct. No, I know. I, and he, he's, <laughs> uh, as he's played more and more constructed, he has overcome this, and I'm sure we will. Oh, no. There you go. I told you. Yeah. I well, told you. He hurts even like the perfect totem in this situation, I yeah. guess, because of the second lightning bolt that he has in his, in his hand. But this is something I really dislike when you play that type of shaman. You don't play around lightning storm. You don't play around, you know, hex. hex. Right. You just need to put Give up the 7-7 seven, seven to attack face. But I just had a sneaking suspicion that Trump might just want to kill that minion. Yeah, and well, he has to now. Right, <laughs> now, now he's kind of locked into this endless cycle of having to fire his burns at, uh, burn at minions, whereas otherwise he could just have a 7-7 seven, seven on the board dealing with all this stuff quite easily. Yeah, or just ignoring it and just going face for 7. Right. And you still have access to 9 damage in your hand, which might be might even been increased by the fact that you have an elemental to them later in the game, right? Sure. I'm not sure if it actually recycles the power each turn, so there'll be a different outcome of the RNG. Mm. That's something I would really like to get I'm to know. I'm fairly sure it is seeded every time. Like, when you when you press a button, when you activate a card, it's oh, seeded so it's immediately. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, he can't really play a single... Uh, uh, the, sorry, uh, he can't really play the f uh, Flame Breath Faceless for a long time mm -hmm. because of the overload mechanic. And now Trump is still thinking about trading. That is just crazy. <laughs> He's playing around Lightning Storm. He's playing Best around Lightning Storm, yeah. But I mean, also there's there's just a value trade for the for the Fire Elemental on the board. Sure, he'd have that Rock Biter to polish it off afterwards. But um, I mean, he is pushing sufficient damage, you'd say. Definitely not as anywhere near as much as he could do. Right. Still, but you might draw some assumptions uh, because of the fact that Trump. Still is um, uh, still is holding the card that he had in his opening mulligan, mm -hmm. right? So what is what is it? Yeah, very true. I mean, if there's very few things it could be, unless it was the a flame wreath faceless that he just chose not to play. It does come down, but still, this uh, relative board dominance oh. still for Strife Crow, and Strife Crow is a prophet. He predicted that your minions die off because of the the numbers yeah. of attack that you're attacking into. So. Uh, the numbers are a little bit more honest in terms of what you can do with the Flame Tongue Totem, but still, just a huge impact, allowing him to take out this board in much fewer attacks. It looks like... Oh, he can do it. That's right. Yeah, this is perfect. 4-3 takes out the Totem Golem, and then the Tunnel Trog takes out the 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, still, you don't have the perfect setup. Right. But yes. It still leaves the left-hand side of your Flame Tongue a little bit exposed, which you're not happy with, but still, this is a massive amount of board dominance against a deck that usually does not play any any way to clear your board with AoE effects like Lightning mm -hmm. Storm, Elemental Destruction, etc. I would actually like to see the first the power up and then the um, then the um, Tasker Totemic because you can hit two Tauntos. Two Tauntos, sure. And yeah, that would sense. actually allow you to make an out survive with the Tasker Totemic. Right. Theoretically protects your 3-2 your from the board, allows you to leverage a trade with that on your own terms. But Strife Crow's opening hand looked a little bit slow. He had that Alakir and Fire Elemental in his hand from very early on, but he managed to stabilize the game for long enough to get that long-term value out of it. And again, we have to think, just go back to that turn four decision from Trump, not to just take 